Do you want to know why I got that disco ball? Whenever I freak out, I can say I'm panicking at the disco. Hello. Hi. I'm super shy, which you probably don't believe from my YouTube videos. And I asked you guys on Twitter what you guys wanted to see, and everyone was like, shy advice. If you're not subscribed, what? Be sure to subscribe, turn notifications, and comment done. Once you're done, I'll shout out one person that does so. Um, let's get this to 25,000 likes. If this video just helped you out, this way literally just more people can see this video. Then like this video with a body part you have never liked a video with and see if it works. But don't dislike the video, please. I'm a sensitive girl. Also, I decided to make this video adorable and have my friend Tiffany play the ukulele. Thank you to her. I'm gonna link her stuff in the description. Also, this video would not have been possible without AT&T. So I genuinely don't talk about things if I'm not obsessed, but this show, Summer Break. It's all about these LA teens having crazy summers and it's really inspiring for me. I get to live vicariously through them and then I'm like, wait, I kind of want to try these things and then I end up actually trying some. I will link the first episode and let's get started. Okay. So my shirt, just thought I would. Give it a time to show a shirt out. <laughs> yeah, a shirt out. <laughs> Sometimes being shy can seem mean, but the important thing is that when people say hi to you, say hi back. You don't always have to engage in conversation. Your opinions are valid, and being opinionated is okay because there's a stereotype that people that are shy don't have opinions, but prove them wrong. You do not have to talk to people at your lunch table, but it's just nice to sit with people. You want that company. It'll make you feel that little bit less lonely. Trust me, do not get dependent on an outgoing friend because once that outgoing friend leaves, then you're gonna feel like you're screwed, which you're not. I promise you, you're okay. Look at the positives because I mean, there are some positives to being shy. You're great at observing. I was spent when I was super shy, whenever anyone would compliment me, I would just get awkward and like I wouldn't know how to receive that. Just keep embracing it and keep like, you know, loving it. If you see someone with a shirt with something you like, that's a great conversation starter. I always used to do that and go for it. Like if someone has a band you like on their t-shirt, just go and talk to them. So cool. If you like my shirt, in the comments, no, okay. <laughs> know that you're cool and you're an awesome, talented, unique individual. If you feel that you're like that, then you'll feel a lot more confident and you'll be more willing to talk to people and express yourself. If you're always in your own mind, a lot of shy people are, then be productive with it. I know it sounds weird. Think about something cool you could do after school. If you like music, think of like songs you wanna learn on guitar the next day. Ask for help at the grocery store. Challenge yourself. It was so hard for me to get to the point where I could literally ask people for help at the grocery store, but every little bit counts, every little bit. Constantly put yourself in new situations where you're challenging yourself and your own integrity and composure. Sign up for a club, especially something that you're super interested in. It doesn't matter how lame that might seem. Well, challenge yourself to keep raising your hand and asking questions and know that that's okay, it's valid. People think it's idiotic to ask a lot of questions, but I think that's so not true. Asking questions is actually a very intelligent thing. My issue is I also get very shy in large groups of people. So know your strengths and know your weaknesses and know that sometimes you're not always going to be as outgoing as you are in other situations, but Take advantage of that. I have a lot of friends that like, we have not barely anything in common, yet we get along so well. Don't assume that you won't get along with someone because they appear to be very different. When meeting people for the first time, they never automatically know you're shy. So, you can change that. I have had people that have met me and been like, wait, you're, you're a shy person? And I'm like, wow, I guess I met that person. I was just a really in a really outgoing mood. And that's such a cool thing. Like that's, so, like conceptually, that's so cool. Body language is super important. So one thing I do is like, when you talk to someone, I always used to not do this. I like lean into them, like showing up with you. I tend to like do these certain things that make me look shy and kind of submissive. Like I'll go like this and I'll cover my mouth and then people can't hear me. Or I'll take my sleeves and I'll go like this. Or I hold my arm kind of like this. That's me personally. I do less of that. I'm just talking to myself too. <laughs> when you go into a social situation, tell yourself it's gonna be positive. Be like, this person, we're gonna become, you know, we're gonna become friends after. And even if it doesn't happen, just when you go in with that situation, it'll just be better. You know what I mean? Then versus like, I'm probably gonna talk to this person and they're probably gonna hate me. But <laughs> um, <laughs> look at other people that are confident and kind of see, see kind of what helps them open up. Give a compliment. Whenever you're not sure what to say, just give a compliment. Trust me, and people appreciate it. Like, more compliments in the world. Like, Tiffany looks pretty. Aww, <laughs> and, oh, and if people don't like you for your weirdness, then 
chances are that you wouldn't have fun hanging out with them anyways. And also, I think weird is fun. I love weird. I mean, I think we're pretty aware. <laughs> I mean, I laughed at my meme shirt for like now. <laughs> I'm going to feature your Instagram and Twitter posts. Thank you, my people. And also your Instagram and Twitter pages. I hope this video helps at least one person. And all this really, really, truly comes from my own personal experience. I hope it helps someone out. And I will see you guys in the future. Oh, yeah.